What's going on? What's going on? YouTube, it's your boy Dre. I'm showing you something I'm pretty sure y'all all know I'm going to pull out for you right now. One, before I even talk about them 11s that dropped Jubilee 25th anniversary, yo, look at the box. All right, peep this. So we got the grade school pair, and then you also got the men's pair. I'm not going to lie. They mix up different from the box. The other box was we had the Nike box for the bread 11s. Before that, you had the Concord box. Concord box look like one of the original Nike Air boxes. You got the lid that comes off, gray. On the bottom, similar to this. Basically like this, it's got the Nike Air right there. The whole lid comes off. That'll be for the men's pair. Yeah, before that, what do you have? Space Jams and Red 11s and all of that. Those came in a box similar like this, but they slide out. This, something completely different. All right, so we're going to open up. The flap like this. Yo, this is like some transformer stuff. Look, I'm gonna just leave it chilling. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm opening it up like this. Give it a little shot like this. Tell me if this box is not fly. New 2020 anniversary 11 Jubilee box. Super dope. Love the presentation. When you open it, it's like the pearly gates. Opens up. You hear the angels singing. Oh. <laughs> Alright, so let me give you a little quick review about this baby right here. So you got the wrapper that just the wrapper wrapper just says uh 2020. Let me see you get it in the right lighting. There we go. 2020. So give you a little bit of a tidbit. Flap goes in. In. Oh. So the first thing that stands out to me, what I just love, is just like the little metal on the eyelids. That right here. So for those that don't know, it's spelled Jordan, J-O-R-D-A-N. You just got to just see the letter. J-R-D-A-N. So it's going upwards. Y'all can see it. So... We do have a very similar characteristics of, boom, Space Jams. Main difference, this is like a cross between Space Jams and, keep getting this wrong, 72 tens, if I'm not mistaken. So, the clear soles from the former 11s, and like the upper would be similar to Space Jams. You have this, which they actually incorporate that into certain pairs, not all the pairs of the DMP 11s that release years ago but that was gold this one for the 2020 version they actually got so i think these are cool it's a nice touch so when they actually introduced these shoes they said think of space jam with silver accents so you got that metallic silver jump man right here and i think it's nice touch to it I believe it's actually metal <laughs> You have the 23 on the back. It's not screen printed, which is cool because if you remember the, any of the other 11s after a while, it's like it rubs out. So this looks like more premium material. These actually feels nice. Feels like a nice padding for support, ankle support. Again, you have that white outlining for that patent leather. You have Lil Widow's Peak right there. And I think it's a very small one, not as notable. Just like the pair from um, Space Jams. Hold on, I don't want to get a good angle so you can see it. So yeah, I can see it a little bit. There we go. Don't fail me now, Samsung. But yeah, I get what I'm trying to say. Boom, that part. Right there. So, we're gonna look at the soles. So that milky white sole, smooth. You got the jump man, which is cool. And you also have that milky white, brownish gray. It's just milky white for the most part. Rubber for the grip. So, peep the carbon fiber. That used to be a main thing back in the days to tell what's real and what's fake. Just looking at the carbon fiber plate. But now they make fake so good, it's nearly impossible to tell. 
So you also have Jordan on the inside of the eyelids. You still got the original right here. What is it, Jumpman? Jordan Jumpman. So I think these are a very solid pair. Yes, they did produce a lot of pairs of these. Yes, these also flew off the shelves. I'm not sure what the leftover pairs. A lot of people was racking up. I've seen people with the IKEA bags filled with like four or five pairs. Because the bag is big, but as you can see, the box is just as big. But I don't know. I think these is cool. And God knows we're going to get another pair of Air Jordan 11s that has Jordan written right here. Um, Are you a fan? Did y'all cop or did you say, nah, these are cool, but if I didn't have the Space Jams, I would have bought these. Did you try to cop? Did you fail? We all know how bots, bot city foot sites, to be honest. Let me stress something right now, which made me piss. Right. FLX, all of those apps, man, if I'm telling you, like... Just trying to get on, trying to secure your pair. Hype release after hype release after hype release after hype release. Guess what? You can't even log in. So when you're trying to get on, error, 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 error. And then, yes, they give you one hour to confirm. So once it hit 5 o'clock, you have to 6 o'clock to let people know. You want to confirm or you want to pass on the release. Fortunately, just like the mochas, Repeat, same thing, can't log in. And then for those who actually can't log in that don't that get the error, sometimes it signed you out. And you try to log in, your password is not working. And it's like millions and millions of people are trying to be on the app at the same time. Please work on your servers or anything because it's telling me error message servers down. Please. It was hard trying to secure these pairs. So people who probably got the pair, it probably... Wasn't able to get on. Some people gave up. My boy gave up. I'm not gonna lie. He bought it from Goat. He was like, "Yo, Dre, I'm tired of this. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I can't do something. I'm bought it from Goat." So he just spent three fifty. If he would have showed a little bit of patience, he probably would have got the W. Shout out to my boy Cave. You already know it's all good though. You know what I mean? You buy what you like. He didn't want to wait for that. No, he didn't want to wait to get an L. He was like, "You know, let me just get my W." I'm going to just drop the extra bread. He paid about $350 after tax, fees, everything on Goat. So, hopefully he gets pair maybe late this week or maybe the beginning of next week right before Christmas, depending on our shipping. So, again, these were really hard. Yes, it was all over the place, but also, yes, there's people buying multiple pairs. So, again, who tried to get them and who so caught it out? I think these are very... Very, 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 very solid shoe. I love them. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And before you go, you already know what to do. Shout out to your boy. Feel free. Drop that like. New to my page. You're more than welcome to subscribe. You'll be updated on my content. And for those who like Justin Bieber, because I know a lot of, most of my followers are Justin Bieber fans and all of that. I'm contemplating on going to this concert or not if this whole COVID thing washes away. I bought floor seat tickets. I'm thinking, should I sell it or should I just go and just grow the page more? Uh, let me know. Leave the comments. Let me know what I should do. Because my floor seat tickets is pretty much going for double now. So imagine a month, two months before the actual event and things get way better with COVID. COVID disappears. So... I probably could get three times my money or just enjoy a concert floor seat and give you guys 4K, 8K quality because I will get a new phone by then. And I'll be uh, showcasing those videos. You're going to do a lot of performances, not sure who you're going to come out with, but we're going to find out. So again, thanks for checking me out. One love to y'all. You ready what? Uh-huh. You know the vibes. All right, y'all. I'm going to hit you up with more content soon. Thank y'all.